Tesla stock is reaching all-time highs on speculations and observations that Robotaxi is ready for prime time and that we will see autonomous transport being rolled out across the world. But there's another big story in Tesla stock that we are all observing very closely that again makes Tesla more than a stock and it takes it into a civilizational disruptive mode and context. And that big thing is, of course, Optimus, the humanoid robot operation that Tesla is working on. And that means that Tesla is now preparing one of the most transformative periods of in human history, the rollout of fully functional humanoid robots. And we see here that Joe Tegmeyer, shout out to Joe, just posted this with new observations about Cortex-2, which is a new data center at Giga Texas and at the Austin Giga Factory, where we see that now the power grid and the power installations are being built out for this new Cortex-2 data center that will be dedicated to the training of the Optimus brain. Because as you know, being a humanoid robot and seeing the world and operating and interacting with the world is a very, very big challenge. Most people focus on the hardware, on the robot body, on the actuators, on all the stuff that goes into the hands. Very complex engineering. My take on it was always that this engineering piece, the stuff people focus on, the stuff that you can see and touch, the hands, the feet, how it works, the actuators that make it all work. That is what fascinates people. That's where everyone focuses on. But I said very early on, this is not the problem. I'm a contrarian here. I say everyone is overestimating this problem. You have all of China working for Tesla. You have the best brands in Tesla, the best engineers trying to solve the body problem. The real problem and the real game changer is the brain. How do we create a consciousness that can operate a body with full effectiveness from your kitchen to your laundry room to running errands for you to being in a factory doing specialized labor to be on the fields and do agricultural products to do mining to go to space and do repairs on Tesla's and SpaceX's data centers. That is the question. And that is exactly the purpose of this big build out. And that build out is more expensive, more complex and more high stakes than just building a body. So I'm very excited to see the progress here. And we are seeing that we are aiming at 200 megawatts, you know, 0.2 gigawatts for this AI data center for Cortex-2. And Joe says the work involves the installation of a fire alarm and detection system for the Cortex-2.0 facility, specifically tailored to handle 100 to 200 megawatts of power capacity. This power rating implies a large-scale industrial or computational setup. Such levels are typical for data centers or supercomputing clusters, right? And Joe did a very good job. He basically saw this fire alarm and detection system permit. That's how you get intelligence intel. Joe is very smart. He saw that filed in Texas, and they actually had to explain, uh, Tesla had to explain how big of a protective area and asset this is for the fire system. And they had to say this. So that's how we know how much megawatts are in there. Fun fact, by the way, they named it 1035 Robotic Avenue. Very cool. Hornsby Bend. Very cool. This is like south, southeast of Austin. So we know that this is a very serious build out. This sets the stage for Optimus leading the world, leading the world in robotics and humanoids by a far distance. Because when you look at competitors like Xpeng in China, like NIO, One X Technologies, or like Figure One, you have to ask yourself the question, how are these systems being trained? Everyone watches the bodies. Everyone watches the remote operated little tricks it does today. But how do you give it a brain? How do you actually finance and build and train massive consciousness that you need in these things? If you don't have the vertically integrated tech stack, you have a problem. If you just pay Microsoft or Google for training this or Amazon, you are in a very bad position versus Tesla that owns the entire factory, the entire intelligence factory. So how much is 200 megawatts? How many GPUs are we talking about? <clears throat> so we have roughly, roughly 130 to 140,000 GPUs. 
And you have to also consider, number one, that's a lot of compute. But you have to consider that these will not be H100s. That's like, you know, the baseline comparison right now are H100s. There won't be even H200 or B200 black wells which are already much more powerful than H100s. These will be Vera Rubens because we are talking about 2027, 28, when this goes into, you know, real deployment. And so we are talking three to four times the amount of H100 equivalents. So when people talk today, oh, there is a giant data center of 10,000 GPUs. What do they mean? They mean 10,000 NVIDIA H100 equivalents. But if you have Vera Rubens, you're talking 4X that per GPU. So then it would be 40,000. So if you have 140,000 GPU capacity, that is the equivalent, and let that sink in, of 560,000 H100 equivalents, by far the largest data center in the world in today's standards. Of course, in the future, there will be comp competition and things like that, but not for robotics alone. In other words, you don't have to remember all these exact numbers, but you have to remember that Tesla is building something huge, that it's in the middle of deploying this. This probably goes online in 2027. No one knows, of course. But if you know Tesla, this looks like a 2027 latest thing that this will actually get activated. This looks like AI, but it's not. Look at this. This is not AI. This is a photo of these huge, huge uh, converters or whatever it is to handle the electricity. And that is pretty massive. This is the thing. This is the actual building. Look at how big this building is, where this goes in. And this is purely a Cortex-2 building. So this entire giant building. I mean, look at this. Here, here you see these batteries, uh, not batteries, like these converters. Don't blame me. I'm not an electrician. I don't even know what that is. But these big fat boxes to put electrons inside, I can guarantee you that electrons go inside the, these things. I don't know what they do there, but they go in there and they probably come out again. So look at this, this giant thing here, this thing, and then you look at here on the side, that is this giant thing you just saw. This gives you a feel, a sense how huge this thing is. So we have to understand when you talk about Tesla, everyone stares at the cars, everyone thinks about the robots. But the true secret and the true power of Tesla comes from the intelligence. So these things that you can't see or you see only here is where Tesla truly beats the rest of the world. That it can produce this, these hardware pieces, the cars and the robots, but then puts brains of this size inside them and achieves total leadership. So I hope that was insightful and helpful. Optimus is coming. We see all these converging, huge, huge trajectories coming. And I'm very excited about 2026 and even more excited about 2027. These build-outs are non-trivial and they are total game changers for the future of humanity through the future of robotics and autonomy. Go to pioneerlands.org or .net. Same thing, we are the smartest pioneers, the best Tesla investors, the best NVIDIA investors. Everyone discusses the future from society to Tesla shares, to NVIDIA, to Bitcoin, to all the things that matter, but also where we discuss the topics that drive us as humans and our society so we are not unprepared when all the crazy stuff is happening that we are discussing in our videos. I hope that was interesting and see you tomorrow.